Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about Andy Weir's The Martian, soon to be made into a movie starring Matt Damon where he basically plays the exact same character that he did in Interstellar. Well, okay, maybe that's not entirely true. He actually does know that he's going to be rescued, you know, or at the very least he actually does at the very least hope that he's going to wind up being rescued and as far as I can tell, at least in the book anyway, he doesn't go nutso or anything, so yeah, but I mean, you know, you have the whole, Marsh, the whole astronaut stranded on another planet and uh, yeah, but <clears throat> anyway, the mainly the uh, whole uh, main interest of this whole thing is, uh, you know, seeing, you know, uh, or reading about the the main character, Mark Watney, stranded astronaut, you know, trying to survive, and we get into all of the different details of, like, uh, how he grows crops, to how he produces water to feed the crops, uh, to um, all the little technical stuff he does. And in addition to this, it also goes back and forth between the, that and... Um, the, uh, everyone else, you know, such as uh, going at like a CNN having a Mark Watney report and, um, you know, uh, the, 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 you know, various crew members on the ship start learning about what to do and um, having, um, you know, just, uh, just seeing how everyone reacts to, uh, you know, the, trying and trying to rescue this guy. <clears throat> And, um, and though I do for the most part like it, I do kind of find it also like a little bit jarring, you know, at times, like at first, because like when I was first reading it, I was thinking about it, it was just going to be like a bunch of mission logs, and that part it felt very, um, very unique, you know, well, not, maybe not unique, but it was just, it was very, yeah, uh, yeah, very in interesting and unique, like a diary of this guy trying to survive on Mars, and then, um, then it was like when it went back and forth between the ground control crew on Earth and the crew on, um, on you know, the Hermes ship. You know, it just felt all very, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know, like it, it just felt like it sort of took like a little bit of the uniqueness away. And, uh, but that's a minor nitpick because they were still good, you know. I still like their, them um, <clears throat> trying to deal with uh, trying to survive or trying to figure out ways to help Watney and you know um, I'm assuming that the movie is going to be very you know, the same thing although we're probably going to have like a lot less of the mission logs instead it's just going to be you know seeing Mark Watney trying to survive sort of, you know, Tom Hanks style like a, in a, like in um, Castaway and um, but you know um, again, love the book I'm having high hopes for the movie, you know, I might do a vlog on that when that comes out and uh, yeah anyway overall, I give The Martian my personal comfort level recommendation rating of a 5 out of 5. Definitely recommended. It's just a very fantastic, interesting book. Definitely a new take on the survival thing, on the surviving on Mars, which I personally haven't seen before. At least not since Mission to Mars, which even then that was more of like a side thing. But yeah. Anyway, um, next time, I'm sure that many of you already know the story of the 300 but what about the story of the 400 until then see you later keep yourselves awesome please support your local libraries bookstores whatever with your patronage donations money and whatever else i can't seem to think of and if you have any suggestions for myself or for other viewers please leave so in the comment section below or wherever it is and have a nice day.